Hey, welcome back. It's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jelen from Mr. Excel. We'll be joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. This is our episode 96, Total All Lookups. Oh, hey, everyone. This is, uh, we are going to, we're going to go beyond Arcane. We're going to go to Arcane to the third power. Mike sent me this one, and I know that I'm being baited because he knows that he has a better way to solve this. He saw this in uh, my book, Learn Excel 2007, uh, 2010 from Mr. Excel. And I'm, I, I already know, I already know that he, he's going to have me beat here, but I'm going to do it the way that I did in the book. Here's the question. We have a whole bunch of invoices and amounts, and here is our bonus table. Uh, we don't want to pay the bonus yet. We just want to create a little accrual uh, reserve to figure out how much the bonus is going to be. So I want to know what the total of all the bonuses are in a single formula. So let's go arcane to the first level. Equal VLOOKUP. Go look up this amount over here in this table, F4. I want the second column, but I don't want an exact match, so I'm not going to put false. Instead, I would tend to put true, but it turns out you don't need to put true. You can just leave it off. All right. So what that does, that looks for 12,835 in this table. When it doesn't find it, it goes to the road just before 12,835. Now, this is the only time that this table has to be sorted. It has to be sorted in ascending order. Most VLOOKUPs, the table does not have to be sorted, but here it does. All right. Double click to shoot that down and we have our formulas. But hey, wait, I don't want all of these formulas. I want one formula to add all of that up. Unfortunately, if I try and do equal sum, open parentheses, VLOOKUP, there's nothing I can do. Control Shift Enter, nothing will get that to work. So we need to go uh, not just arcane, but arcane, arcane. Are you ready? Equal lookup. Lookup, what the heck is that? Go look in Excel help for lookup. It says, hey, don't use this. There's newer versions of lookup. Go look at VLOOKUP. But uh, lookup has a trick. So lookup will do vertical or horizontal. It will only do the, do the true version of VLOOKUP. Uh, and it has this weird, weird thing where you have to say, here's the lookup value, 12,835. Here is the lookup vector. A vector is one column or one row, F4. And here is the results vector. Uh, so you get to specify not on a whole table, but uh, the, the the column you're looking up and then the column that has the results. And that should give us the exact same results as that VLOOKUP over there in column D. But then the question is, well, why would you bother to do this when VLOOKUP does it? Well, because as I said, VLOOKUP cannot be used in an array formula here to sum everything. Uh, but this lookup can. I'm going to go into the next worksheet here. Um, and so here's my formula. I want to look up all of the values from C2 to C26. Uh, the lookup vector is E2 to E6. The results vector is F2 to F6. Wrap that whole thing in a sum. Hold down Control Shift and press Enter 652. Let's just do a quick uh, check here. Equal sum of my results here in the original lookup, 652, it works. Isn't that crazy? This whole, this old, 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 did I say old? Old lookup function that Microsoft even tells you not to use has a cool trick uh, in that it can be used to look up a range of values. Control Shift Enter will return that to the sum function and we get our totals pretty wild. I thought it was cool. I put it in the uh, new edition of the book, uh, but Mike, I have this uh, seeking suspicion, is going to have a better way to do this. Mike. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Beat you? I, I don't think so. Now, this formula is totally awesome. I have done lookup adding with an exact match where you use sum if and sum product, but I actually had never seen this. This is an approximate match lookup adding. 
Now, this formula is totally cool, and i got to tell you something about his new book. Here's his new book. This is the um, uh, Learn Excel from Mr. Excel with 512. I used to use his book before I started making videos, the one with 277 tricks. This is way back. I used to use this in my advanced Excel class, and he came out with an intermediate version, but this one has 512 tricks, and this is one of the new tricks. Now, if you have some of his older books, this book has a bunch of cool new tricks. All right, um, so I like this. Um, in particular, the lookup vector and the result vector with the lookup function. Now, it happens to be that both columns are next to each other. Now, this form of it would be great if this range right here was somewhere else or even transposed, then you could use this uh, version here. And like Mr. Excel said, lookup, it is old. I think he said old a lot of times. No way. There's lots of great uses for uh, lookup because it can handle arrays in various ways where VLOOKUP can't. All right, I'm going to come over here, straight stealing the idea. I'm just going to, instead of use sum, I'm going to use sum product. Now, sum product is great because it can handle arrays, and that lookup function is returning an array of values. Sum product just allows me to use the lookup without using control shift enter. I'm going to use that lookup, totally awesome. Lookup value, all of these, control shift down arrow. And here's the thing about lookup. This, there's the lookup value, right? It's a bunch of stuff. This lookup vector, it can either do horizontal or vertical uh, lookup. Now, since the table is taller than it's wider, it's going to, if you just use this one argument, it will do V lookup. If it was wider than it's taller, it would do horizontal lookup. So for the lookup vector, I just highlight this. Now, the lookup is programmed to always take the value from the last column and return it. All right, so then I don't have to use those the result vector in this only because they're next to each other. Close parentheses, close parentheses, and enter. 652. So 652. All right, I'm giving the point to Mr. Excel for this awesome new 200-plus uh, new tricks. All right, see you next video. Hey, all right, Mike, I'm glad you liked that trick. You know, I, I'm a big fan of VLOOKUP, and, you know, if we were doing VLOOKUPs into this table, we could just specify this as the entire table range, press F4, and whether we wanted column 2, 3, or 4, we wouldn't have to think about it. It always irritates me the way that, that uh, Mike used that uh, formula where you specify a range, but the value that you want to return is the rightmost edge of the range. Although I guess it really isn't that bad because I can lock this range down and say, hey, it's always going to start in E, but as we copy to the right, it's going to get one column wider. And so copy that across. See, now it goes to G and returns the value from G and copy it one more. Now it goes over to H and returns the value from H. So it may not be as strange and arcane uh, as I thought, uh, but uh, definitely kind of out of my element here. I've you know VLOOKUPs. I've done millions in my life. Lookup, I've probably done about ten or so. So uh, uh, still giving the point to Mike. Plus throwing the sum product in there. All right, hey, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next week for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is fun.